Hello everyone, my name is Brady Hazlett. I'm an application engineer here at 3M. And today we're gonna to talk through the application of base coat. Now, before we get started, you wanna make sure you're wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment for the job. And in this base coat application, we're spraying paint in a booth, so we'll be wearing a full paint suit along with our safety glasses, our gloves, and the appropriate respirator for the coating we're applying. Now, this video is intended for professional audiences, such as a body shop, and if you have any questions about safety or warranty information, you can follow the links below. Now, let's get started. So where we left off after our last video is we had our spray gun all dialed in for the base coat application. So now we're ready to apply that base coat to the car. Now, we talked a little bit about color and having a blendable match. So I wanted to talk about the blend process that you'll use on the car. First and foremost, you wanna get full coverage on any repair panels. So any area on the repair that had to be sealed, you'll pay attention to to make sure you get full coverage over that, as well as any new panels, to make sure you have the appropriate color on the repair before you begin your blend. But once you have that coverage, you can begin to do your blend on the adjacent panels if the repair plan allows for that. Now, one great thing you can use to your advantage when blending is any other features on a car, such as a door handle or a mirror, anything that can take your attention away from any color change on that panel. And also, if you have the luxury of working around a corner of the car, such as a bumper cover or a quarter panel as you get to the back corner of the car, uh, generally that's a great way to really transition that color and hide any blend so it's almost imperceptible. One more important thing with a blend is if your system allows for it, you'll want to use a wet bed so you get the proper orientation as you get to the edges of your blend transition. And you want to pay attention to the application techniques that they call out on the tech sheet for that wet bed as well. Now that we covered blending, let's talk about just the base coat application. Now follow the paint company recommendations you'll find on the tech sheet for the application. And with this specific waterborne base coat we're applying today, we call out medium coats until you achieve full coverage, followed by a control coat for proper metallic orientation. Now with those medium coverage coats, you wanna ensure that you're allowing enough dry time and not oversaturating that panel because that can really amplify that dry time to a point where it's just not, no longer productive. And once you're ready and you have full coverage, to dial in the spray gun for the control coat on this coating, we'll be reducing the air pressure and increasing the distance from the panel to allow that material to apply to the panel much more dry and give the proper metallic orientation. Now pay attention to the tech sheet of the coating you're using because this was specific to the waterborne base coat we're using. And if you happen to be in a different system, it may call out different techniques for the job. That's all there is for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next installment in the paint application series. And if you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe or comment below. And if you wanna see more content like it, you can follow the link for the Collision Repair Academy as well. We'll see you next time.